Hi, and welcome to ElectroArc. Today we're going to be demonstrating our DC direct current output disintegrating transformer, which is optimally suited for removing broken carbide tooling. In our part, we have a broken 12 millimeter carbide drill, and using our ElectroArc selector chart, we've determined that we need to use a 312 thousandths electrode to remove the broken carbide drill. The electrode is inserted into the disintegrator head using a, a chuck lock nut assembly and a collet. The machine today is equipped with ElectroArc's DC disintegrator head with automatic servo feed, automatic start and stop switches, and depth stop. The 12 millimeter drill and the 312 electrode associated using the selector chart tell us that we need a, a set power setting on our machine which we've taken the time to set up ahead of time. To begin the process, I simply bring my electrode down on top of my broken tool, drop my splash bag, cover the edges with a rag, and using the remote start stop, I can begin the process. We do not know the depth of this 12 millimeter drill, so we're going to be disintegrating in one inch increments and then stopping the machine to see how much broken tool remains. We're working on a 30 inch by 30 inch tabletop. ElectroArc manufactures tabletops from 18 by 20 inches up through 39 by 32 inches and custom engineered solutions if you feel your part requires such a need. Today we're using a portable 36 inch tall column. The standard column height on stationary tabletop machines is 50 inches with 60 inches and 72 inch columns available for even larger parts yet. With any given tabletop and column configuration, ElectroArc can meet the needs of any part, size, shape, or configuration. We have gone through and removed some of the loose bits of carbide drill left in the hole and there's still a little bit of the drill down in the hole that's not loose yet so we're going to take the disintegrator back down. We've left our depth stop the same. We will still want to go in one inch increments as we don't know the total depth of the, this drill. So I'm going to go ahead and start my disintegrator again using the remote start stop. and let it finish its cut. As you can see, the head backed out, and that's indicating that we have a piece, another loose piece of drill bit. So I can go in there and should be able to rummage around and find it. Let's get our head out of the way. And then with our compressed air, we can clean out the hole, and I can see bits of material down in there for us to pick out with some picks and pliers. What we have done here is using our picks and needle nose pliers is bring the chunks and broken loose bits of the carbide drill out of the hole and got into the solid drill. At that time, using our needle nose pliers, we were able to take a, the top of the solid drill in a twisting action and remove it from the hole. Now that we have enough exposed from the hole, we can then take our channel lock pliers or vice grips or whatever you might have and with a continued twisting action, remove the remainder of the drill from the hole 
leaving a clean hole undamaged for future use.